So in this video, I'd like to talk about how to find perimeter of a shape. So here we have a rectangle, and if we're told that it's a rectangle, then we know that the opposite sides are gonna be the same length as well. So if this side is x plus three, then this side is also gonna be x plus three. If this is y minus two, this is also gonna be y minus two. So perimeter is adding up all of the edges of a shape and that will be the perimeter. Now, since we don't know what x is and we don't know what y is, we're just gonna leave our answer in terms of x's and y's, and that's totally fine. So the perimeter is gonna be x plus three plus x plus three plus y minus two plus y minus two. All right, and now what we need to do is combine all the like terms and then uh, we will bring this up here just so I have some more space. So <clears throat> let's gather all of the like terms. X's are all like terms here. So we have two X's, two X. Let's gather up our Y's. So here's a Y and here's a Y. So that's two Y's. Um, we can gather up our <clears throat> constants, which are just our numbers that don't have any variables attached to them. Looks like we have a negative three, I'm sorry, a positive three here, a positive three here, a negative two here, and a negative two here. If you don't know why these are considered to be negative twos, whenever we start out, what I suggest that you do is, so this was, let me just write this so you can see it better, y minus two plus y minus two. So if you're not sure why these should count as negative twos here, before you ever start out, always, and this is my recommendation, turn all of your subtraction signs into plus negatives, plus negatives. So you're adding all of these terms together and now it's more obvious that this is a negative two. All right, so let's combine three and three, that's six. Six plus negative two is four. And then now we have four plus another negative two will be two, all right? so. All of our constants boil down to two. Since all three terms right here, our x term, our y term, and our constant term are unlike terms, this is as far as you can reduce your perimeter, and that is the answer to the perimeter question. Okay, so we could do that with other types of shapes like triangles. Let's say that we have a triangle here, and let's say this is 2a. This is 4a minus 15, and then this is 12a uh, plus 5. So if we were to figure out what the perimeter of this shape would be, we'd have to add them all together. So let's say it's 2a plus 12a plus 5 plus the third side, 4a minus 15. Okay, so let's gather all of our a's together. And it doesn't matter if you do the a's first or another variable first or a constant first. It doesn't matter how you do that as long as they all get done in the end. So a is a good place to start. So we'll circle all of our a terms. Oh, and by the way, if you want to take the subtraction sign and make it into a plus negative, so the subtraction sign make it into a plus negative, that might help us out. We have another a over here. So 2a and 12a, that's 14a. 14a plus 4a is 18a. All right, now we've got our constants. Here's a five, so we're gonna add five, and we're gonna add negative 15. So let's combine these. Five plus negative 15 is gonna be negative 10. So we're left with negative 10, and this is a perfectly good way to have our perimeter. Now, this is not the only way that we can express it. Remember, if you have a plus negative, we converted a subtraction sign into plus negative. If you want to, you can convert it back to a subtraction sign. So another way to put this is like this. Also, when you're adding two things together, just like if you're adding three plus four, that's the same thing as four plus three. So feel free to swap them around if you want. So just remember that since it's a plus negative 10, this negativeness of the 10 needs to travel with the 10. So if I were to rearrange this, it would be negative 10 plus 18a. And that's also a perfectly good way. So actually there's three ways, and there may be more if I think about it, of how to um, represent 
a perimeter, any of these are absolutely fine on a quiz or a test. The thing that might be a little frustrating is in the go for motive when you're typing this into the computer and see if it's the correct answer. The go for motive might be picky and they want maybe one answer over another, but just know that they're all completely correct and I'll try to give you the answer keys for the go formative. So if you put in this and it was really asking for this, you'll feel comfortable and knowing that you are actually right as well and uh, it's just the computer that was being a little finicky, okay? So I want to uh, give you a chance to do, uh, to do perimeters. Always remember that you're adding all of the sides. So you put this down and then add it to whatever this is. Even if there's a subtraction in here, just put plus 4a minus 15. And then if you want to, after you put it down, feel free to turn those subtraction signs into plus negatives. Okay, I'll give you some shots to do those.